Now I can get high. Eight. Another Tekken 8 trailer was released featuring another one of my all time favorite Tekken characters, beautiful assassin Nina Williams, my favorite of the Williams sisters. What was shown here was a big relief to me, because the female character's design language seems to be intact. Now I can start to get hyped for this game. Of course, there can be unrevealed things to appease the current political climate, but we are good based on what has been shown so far. Nina looks different, but good. I have nothing against redesigned characters as long as they look good and don't have some weird unattractive look to them as Capcom did with Street Fighter 6. I still think SF5 had way more attractive looking characters than SF6. Of course, I really hope the character customization is there in Tekken 8 and we can have a classic Nina look back in that way or just as an alternative costume. New looks are fine, but the old fans have to be satisfied. I kind of like this new look, but something's amiss here. Maybe it's the dress? Maybe some tight leather pants would have been more Nina-like? Well, it's still better than the wedding gown in Tekken 7 for sure. And I like the fact they are afraid to show her chest like that, and the physics is still there. We still haven't seen that in SF6. Sir, Yuri has a little bit of skin, but not really. Yeah, what else? The pistols. I guess that fits her character, but is Tekken 8 going to have more projectiles? One reason I always liked Tekken the best was because it didn't have projectiles. But that's whole another video. Let's move on. It's not perfect. Even though I'm happy that she looks fine in this new game, I still think this game doesn't look technically that impressive. This is supposed to be a next gen only game, but it sure doesn't look that good. Intermission! Harada himself confirmed on Twitter that the lighting isn't final and more graphical improvements are on the way before the release. So that's good news. Back to the program. Let's make another comparison with SF6. No matter how the characters look in that game, it technically looks properly next gen or should I say current generation game. When you look at it, you can clearly say that this wasn't possible on last gen systems. But then ironically it's coming out for the PS4. When Tekken 8 here looks pretty much identical to Tekken 7, maybe a little bit more polygons and isn't coming out for any of the last gen platforms. The 3D render at the half minute mark isn't the model used during the gameplay, but in SF6 in-game models resemble more the detail level we are seeing here. Maybe RE Engine is superior to Unreal 4. I assume this is Unreal 4 running Tekken 8. I would have loved to see them going for Unreal 5 instead. As it is, it has this Unreal look I have never been a big fan of. I guess there's a decent amount of detail in her stockings here. It could be better for sure. Another big distraction is the glowy bits during the gameplay. I really don't like it. It hides all the detail that is actually there and ruins the lighting, which isn't that good in the first place. I really wish they'd get rid of that glowing stuff. I know there's a gameplay reason for it, but still, I don't like it. Graphics aside, to me Tekken 8 is still ultimately a more attractive game to look at, because it has the design language I expected to have. I just wish it was technically more advanced looking. I want it to be breathtaking, just like Street Fighter 6 was when I first saw it. In the end, appealing character design is more important, and I'm so happy that the Tekken team didn't follow the current trends and Capcom to the weirdness and kept to their guns with attractive females. I can't wait for more reviews of Tekken 8 in the future when we are getting closer to the release. I especially would like to see more environments or stages and different lighting they have to offer instead of these trap looking ruins of a building at night. And of course, more female characters and features like character customization and all that. One last thing I noticed in this actual gameplay clip between Paul and Lol is that there might actually be some of that real muscle deformation going on. It's not as apparent and intentional looking as in SF6, but still, Tekken 8 might have it after all. I admit I was wrong previously, but I don't think it was in there last time they showed Paul and Love gameplay. Want to hear more about Tekken 8 from me? 
check out my video of the Tsung Kasama reveal by clicking the video on your screen now.